What's up guys, Tobias here and welcome to, as you can tell by the title, another squad builder. This is an unbelievable long shot and pace squad. Big thanks to the FIFA Coins Online for supplying me with the coins to be able to make this squad to bring it to you guys. This squad did only just cost 140,000 coins, but considering looking at it straight away, the first thing you see, obviously we've got Chiellini, he stands out miles, but the main thing that stands out, the three midfielders are all in form, so the fact this squad only costs 140,000 coins um, is really, really cheap, and I did make this squad before for the massive ultimate team market crash so if this squad has gone under a hundred thousand coins I would not be surprised whatsoever um, this will have decreased in price dramatically which is the, the main purpose as to why I'm not going to be selling it anytime soon I'm just gonna hold on to it probably until the end of FIFA because if I was to sell this I'm going to lose out on so many coins it's just not worth it so I'm just gonna keep hold of them so starting out then, we've got the we're running the three, uh, the three, four, three, two, one formation. I beg your pardon. That is mainly because we need the three attacking players, as you can see there, as well as the three centre mids. There is a purpose for that, which I'll come to onto in a minute. And um, I only run with four in the back on Ultimate Team. I can't have five; it's just too many. It gets too crowded. And three, I just get absolutely t torn a new bumhole on the left and the right hand side because obviously you don't have that left back and that right back if you're running with three in defence. Uh, three in defence. Um, but in goal, then I do have my uh, my chest. Sorry, um, I did have Sirigu as you can see I've got him on the bench there But for some reason he was just so bad with this squad like he was unbelievably bad So I did swap him out for Marchetti who did cost me 3,000 coins and he is a really good Italian goalkeeper um, Obviously he's not the number one we've got Booth on but Marchetti is still up there a really really good goalkeeper on ultimate team You could obviously have Sirigu as I just said which is just personal preference But I prefer to have Marchetti um, in the left back then we do have Armero He's known for his pace 88 pace and the fact he is ridiculously cheap he did cost me well under a thousand coins obviously this again as I said is before the market crashed so he will have he might have even dropped down to 500 coins now I don't know for a fact but I know he will have decreased in price somewhat but he's got 88 pace and obviously having pace in your defense is a really good thing to have my first center back in the squad then we've got Chiellini's 84 rated one of the best uh, Italian center backs in the game because of how how good he is obviously he's got that 80 pace which is fairly quick for a center back um, and that high of a stats he does cost a little bit he did cost me 30,000 coins he will have dropped down to around between I would say around 25,000 coins now maybe a little bit lower uh, but again he's a really solid centre back looking at his stats there we can see defending 86 and heading 84 the second centre back then I do have is Ogbonna he is an amazing uh, centre back in this game he is only 79 rated overall um, yet yeah, this partnership in the centre backs I do have was voted one of the hardest centre backs partnerships to get onto I did see a squad on uh, FUT head uh, which came up with um, the hardest partnership an ultimate team to handle with uh, and Chiellini and Ogbonna were one of the, the best partnerships to have on ultimate team as the centre backs so then finally then in the defence I have Mariano again he's really quick 89 rated pace as a right back so if I get counter attacked with this squad I'm not going to shit my pants which I would if I had a slow paced team because I know my left back and my right back are both going to be able to track back and counter that counter attack that is being forced on me by my opposition Moving on to the midfield then, as you can see, we have three informed players completing the whole midfield. First things first, this midfield is unbelievable. They all cost me, I'm trying to add it up now, they all cost me around 50,000 coins. 50 to 60,000 coins altogether. this whole midfield, which is unbelievably cheap. I'm going to start with Ilna then on the left-hand side in the centre mid position. Obviously, Napoli, 82 rated overall. How he, how any of these players on 85 rated plus is beyond me. I just went on Twitter now while I was about to record this uh, video. And I did tweet some of the stats and you guys were like guessing like 90 rated players and I was just like you're all so wrong and I did say I wasn't going to say who it was until you saw this video so I can imagine you're all watching this video just to see who my midfielders are but first then we've got Ilna then his stats are unbelievable he's 82 rated overall but yet he's got 87 aggression 86 ball control 87 long shot long passing sorry 91 long shot so he's an absolute beast even if he's at the halfway line you'll see at the end of the video with a few clips I've got he smashes the cross on the post like from miles out he's got 91 long shots 94 shots power and 85 uh, volleys and he only cost me 15,000 coins he's an absolute beast literally get him on the ball as soon as he's in the opposition's half and he has a little bit of space get him to take a heavy, heavy touch and just get him to absolutely smash it 90% of the time it will hit the target if you've got a really good goalkeeper obviously he's probably just going to smash into the goalkeeper and then hopefully you can score with the rebound but if not he just smashes the crossbar he's unbelievable online 
Number second centre mid, then we've got Montalivo again from obviously Milan. Again, he's an Italian uh, player. We've got a few Italians in this squad. Um, he did cost me 30,000 coins, but the reason for that is he's got 690 plus rated stats in game. He's unbelievable. 90 rated ball control, and he's only 84 rated overall. 86 curve, 93 long passing, 95 long shots. 95 long shots, and he's only 84 rated overall, and 93 shot power. So that combination of 95 shot power and uh, 95 long shots or in 93 shot power he's absolutely deadly if he's given a bit of space especially being in that central position in the center mid and then finally we've got Obraniak um, he is the Polish center mid in form a few weeks ago and again he cost me under 20,000 coins he will easily go now for 15,000 coins and his stats are unbelievable he is easily the best center mid in this in this uh, squad here he even though he's the only he is the lowest rated uh, center mid in this squad he is easily better than Montalivo and in the, uh, the reasoning for that are, listen to this, 85 ball control, which is extremely high, 86 crossing, 90 curve, 88 free kicks, 87 long shots, 88 shot power, and 86 volleys. That is unbelievable. The last three stats there especially, 87 long shots, so his long shots are going to be absolutely beastly, especially with that 88 shot power, and that volley of 86 is unbelievable. And he's also a free kick god. You'll probably see, I'm not too sure if I've scored, I've definitely hit the post or come close to it, because uh, I'm absolutely shocking with free kicks. But, um, go, what, but at the end of this video, you'll see 88 free kicks. He's an absolute god, especially with that 90 curve so you've got 90 curve and 88 free kicks he's an absolute beast and that literally summarizes that midfield as a whole moving on to the forward positioning players then I will start on the right hand side and we've got Blazikowski he did only cost me 4,000 coins and he is a really good player obviously we do have a lot of pace these forward three players um Apart from his pace, there's nothing too special about him. Obviously, he's good for supporting Royce. We've got that chemistry going, which is good. But that pace is the main thing uh, with Blazikowski here then. Uh, moving on to then the striker position. As I just said, obviously, we have Royce. He is unbelievable online. He does cost around 15,000 coins. But he's got 88 acceleration, 92 sprint speed, 85 positioning, 86 dribbling, and 89 long shots. So he's an absolute beast as well uh, as Blazikowski. And then finally, on the left forward position, we do have, as you can all tell, we've got Rubinho, who did, does cost 10,000 coins, uh, but none that none that said though, he does have 92 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, so he is really, really quick, the same as all of these uh, forward three positioning players, as well as 90 ball control and 92 dribbling, so when you get him on the ball on that left-hand side of the pitch, make him have a run, he's obviously got that pace, he's got that ball control, he's got that dribbling, he's got that five-star skills, as you can see here, um, he's just an absolute beast, and he did cost me 12,000 coins, which will definitely be under 10,000 coins now with the market crash. So I hope you enjoyed this squad. I'm going to shut up here and we're going to go and have a look at some of the goals that this squad has scored online. So I did play quite a few um, games online with this squad. A lot of the games were against subscribers, and the majority of them in fact were against subscribers. But this first goal here then was a lovely assist from Royce and Blazikowski there absolutely abusing his pace. A lovely touch there by him as well. And he just took the, the ball calmly on his right foot and slotted that past the goalkeeper to go 1-0 up in the 7th minute. Um, this second goal then is a great example of the player Royce is online. I hadn't actually used him before an ultimate team before this. Uh, look at that lovely dribbling, no skill involved whatsoever and um, I did just put that home to equalise in the 90th minute which was good. I can only seem to score headers uh, from corners with one player. It doesn't matter what team I'm using, it only seems to be one player that I can score headers with. Ogbonna there you just saw a lovely little header and Montalivo here just showing the power he has from outside the box there in the 65th minute just to smash that pass to goalkeeper. Um, and Rubino here, a lovely assist, that threw ball there to Royce, it was absolutely lovely. Uh, just put it, took it past that centre back there, then just cutting in on the inside and slotting it past the um, the goalkeeper there. Uh, Obraniak then, um, Obraniak, sorry, his free kicks are absolutely unbelievable. You can see, you saw them coming up on the screen there. 88 free kick accuracy, 90 curve. I do believe that was going to go in if it didn't hit the wall, which was uh, unfortunate it did. Um, but here then, oh, unbelievable lag in that this game here then. But they are the kind of shots uh, the midfield are kind of pulling off every single game. Uh, Blazikowski here then, some great passing. Um, did lead, lead, lead onto a penalty as you can see here then. He was take, trying to, I was trying to be cheeky. I'm not too good with uh, skill, but I was trying to do my best. And I did try and take it past the goalkeeper. He did, did take me down for a penalty, but obviously I just slotted that past. Uh, Inle here then, hitting the post. That is a good 30, 40 yards. And that is, I really wanted that to go in and it absolutely shattered the crossbar. Um, um, with these long shots, um, 
you do hit the post and crossbar a lot here then an absolutely lovely curl there by Royce and the goalkeeper was at full stretch there then to save it and push it past the post uh, but again here then Royce I was trying to take it past the keeper and this time I did succeed and Royce did actually just bury that bury that um, at the back of the net for a nice little goal here then I believe this is another Blazikovsky goal here then uh, obviously if he had that if he didn't have that pace he does I don't think he would have met that ball to head of that chip over the goalkeeper so it's good he does have that um, and obviously here then another another post here. Uh, Blaise, uh, Royce sorry actually hit the post this time instead of Ilner, but there he makes up for it later on. I believe that was the same g game. Uh, Royce to make a lovely goal there in the ninth minute. Um, but yeah, this this team does score some. Look at that. That is an absolutely lovely ball from Royce, I believe, through to Robinho. And he took that on the left foot, I think it was, to absolutely smash it past the goalkeeper. Here then, Royce again. Look, that was an easy 40, 40 to 45 yards. And it did absolutely wreck the crossbar, which was unfortunate. But again, Royce, as many times as he does hit the crossbar and post, he does find the back find the back of the net equally as many times. In there then, a lovely little goal there. Um... And here then it's just a fine example of what the counter-attacks can lead to in this game. I always do put the counter-attack feature on when I'm playing online. I don't know why it is. But look, he just stalls the ball, waits for Blazikowski to make that run. Obviously that 93 pace, you have to make the most of it. It cuts on the inside into Ilna. And I don't actually score here, which is unfortunate. A nice. In fact, I didn't even, didn't even save it. It did hit the post. Uh, but the final clip here then, this was against the subscriber. I can't believe this didn't go in. If that had gone in, that would have completed this video. But that's all the clips for this video. I hope you enjoyed the squad builder. If you could smash 400 likes as always that'd be absolutely awesome uh, please do leave your comments and thoughts what you thought about this squad i would highly recommend it 140,000 coins is absolutely nothing uh, but yeah that is all for this video so if you did enjoy it please do leave a like and a comment and until my next one i'll speak to you guys later take care